it's Roxanne Karn, personal stylist, and welcome to my closet. So as a personal stylist, I work with women in terms of kind of updating and refreshing their wardrobe, but more importantly, finding, you know, a style that resonates with them. And in the process of working together, a question that always comes up from my, cl my clients is, Roxanne, what does your closet look like? I'd love to see what your closet, you know, how it's set up, um, how you have it organized. So I thought it would be a good idea to do a video to take you in. And it's so funny, I feel like this is like MTV Cribs or something, but, um, but I just wanna see, want you to see what I work with day in and day out and um, hopefully maybe give you some organization ideas along the way. Um, so welcome to my closet. Now the first thing that I want to point out is my full length mirror here. Um, I feel in every woman's closet or at least some place in her home she should always have a full length mirror that way you can look at um you know take a look at your outfit from head to toe you can do a full 360 just to make sure that everything is where it should be and you're not walking out the door looking crazy so that's my number one tip for you to definitely have your full length mirror and as you can see as you open the door it's nice and wide i can see everything um before i head out the door so let's go inside my closet and see a little bit more okay so before we go through the details of my closet I just wanted to kind of give you an overview of the anatomy of my closet so um, you can see if you look all the way up I have a lot of space it's probably I think my husband says it's probably about 14 feet um, and when we first moved into this apartment um, we had kind of the basic set up of the the shelving system which is alpha by the way alpha you can get at the container store and the um, design uh, that I chose for my closet uh, my side of the closet is um, the walnut and platinum finish and um, when we moved in we only really had this bar this bar right here this one we left that um, in in place and in a moment when I show you the other side there was also just one long bar going across and for me the way I like to organize my closet um, is to have my as much as possible my clothes and my, my wardrobe pieces together and then have my shoes handbags and accessories together um, in the house that we had in Virginia I actually had two walk-in closets in my bedroom and <laughs> I'm not gonna lie Michael, my husband, had like 20% of it. <laughs> he has a lot fewer clothes than I do, but um, but one closet was dedicated to all clothes and the other closet was just all accessories. So um, I tried to kind of replicate that as best as I could. So let me show you a little bit about how I have my closet organized. So I, when, I, when putting my closet together, um, what's really important to me is to be able to find my clothing quickly and the only way I can effectively do that is through really really kind of meticulous organization and the way I feel about it is that you only have to set it up once and as long as you just keep putting clothes back where they're supposed to be it should be no issue for you to maintain so what I typically do with my closet and also my clients closets when we do our closet edit is that I merchandise my gar my garments so what does merchandising mean basically what that means is that you're putting like pieces together just kind of like merchandising um, clothes in a department store for example so I have like all of my my sleeveless you know halter top tank tops here uh, and then I go into kind of my more short sleeved or cap sleeve tops then long sleeve I got my cotton shirt then I have kind of knits that I am okay with hanging I'll talk about that in a moment and um, my my blazers and jackets all here so when I organize it again as you can see it's methodical I know exactly if I'm looking for a particular tank top I'm gonna zoom right into this section right here um, so it's very helpful because I'm not digging around my wardrobe looking for that one piece that I know is in there somewhere I saw it a few weeks ago it's somewhere in here nope it's nice it's neat it's organized uh, and another thing that I like to do before I kind of jump to the bottom section is I I also like having the same hangers okay so this is my little brand of crazy um, <laughs> I hate having 
plastic hangers, wire hangers, no more wire hangers, no wire hangers from Mommy Dearest. Um, I use slimline hangers as you can see here to pretty much kind of hang all of my garments i use it because it really does not take a lot of space so more clothes can get in my closet um, but also it's a very uniform look for the most part most of them are, are black i have a couple that are other colors but they're black and to me it's like it feels like my closet is my own little boutique so it helps with keeping things really neat and organized so um again i'm a little bit anal about that so that's the top section right here and then down below here, um, this is where I keep pretty much kind of all of my pants um, and my skirts. Um, for my pants, <clears throat> I made the decision here in this closet to basically fold everything in half and hang it on my, um, my sun velvet hangers. And I did that because I needed more real estate in my closet for my dresses, which we'll go to next. So basically I have everything for the most part kind of color coordinated. I have my lighter colors here, my neutral colors kind of in the middle, and then it goes into kind of the navies and black. And then I go into um, my jeans. So my jeans that I've had here, um, hanging here, and my black jeans. And then I move into my skirt. And um, I tried to, to kind of keep it uh, organized by length, but these are skirts that I had worn more, more recently. So I just haven't kind of organized them back into um, organizing it by length. That's how I prefer to do it. But this is my selection of skirts. And again, for the most part, you have um, kind of symmetry in the hanger style. Um, for, the, for the skirt, I haven't converted all of these yet, these hangers to my um my slimline hangers with the clips so that's a work in progress my closet still is a work in, in progress but that's basically how i have my um my skirts and my pants organized um so yeah that's pretty much that section we'll talk about my dresses next Okay, so now we are in the dress section of my wardrobe. And similar to how I explained the, um, the section with my blouses and skirts and pants, I also have my dresses merchandise, um, basically by style. Basically, I start out with kind of um, dresses that are sleeveless and then gradually move to, and this is still so sleeveless, <laughs> right? I have my more kind of casual dresses um, toward the front and then kind of get a little bit more formal and dressy um, toward the, the middle here. I'm a huge, huge fan of sheath dresses and I'll include a link um, at the, uh, in the comment section about the difference between a sheath dress and a shift dress. Basically, a sheath dress is one that is more fitted and is something that I do recommend um, to women of um, sh different shapes and sizes to definitely take advantage of it because it's a great way to show your silhouette. Um, you gotta style it the right way, but it is extremely flattering on pretty much every body type. So, um, as you can see, I have a healthy collection of, um, of sheath dresses, either sleeveless or some with um, maybe a cat sleeve or a, um, a short sleeve, three quarter length sleeve and so on. Um, I got really big into dresses, I wanna say about two years ago, um, maybe three years ago. And I just had a few in my closet cause I was always kind of in, in pants and jeans. Um, but I just love wearing dresses because it's so simple. You put on the dress and pretty much your outfit is done. The core is done. Um, so I've collected all of these dresses kind of over the years and then rotate them, of course, based off of um, the occasion, the season and all that. So you can see here, I have it somewhat color coordinated too. For the most part, I have um, my neutrals together, my lights together, and then I kind of go into um, my navy and, and black and white. Um, here, these are a couple of favorites that I have, dresses that have kind of accentuated um, sleeves, a little bit of an embellished sleeve. And then as I move toward the back, I'm getting to more kind of, um, you know, business-like dresses and then kind of fun dresses and formal as well. And then I've got my long sleeve dresses here, which I only really have, I think about four or so. Um, and then again, more kind of um, dressy and formal dresses here. So 
because I have so much real estate again in my closet, there's quite a lot of space to hang for my long dresses, which is fantastic. So that's pretty much my dress section. Now, if we just look below the dresses really quick, I want to just show you um, where how I store my boots. Um, I know I mentioned that my shoes are on the other side of the closet, which we'll get to in a few moments, but um, I have my boots all here. I'm going to do a separate video about that because boot storage is really, really important. But because I had kind of um, open real estate here, that's where my boots live in my closet. Okay, so let us take a look toward this section right here. So this is a hanging shelf made of canvas, literally just canvas. I got this also from the container store years and years ago. I think I probably had this about 15 years. And I love it and it obviously moves with me from closet to closet because um, you know you have pieces in your wardrobe that are, um, that are knits that should not be hung because if you hang them, they will get stretched and you do not want your, um, especially any investment pieces that you have to be stretched. So I do have um, all of my, pretty much my winter sweaters and then any knits that are important to me that I do not want to get stretched, they all live in here. Um, so it's just a really easy way to, um, to store your sweaters. And the beauty of it is that you can actually see what you have, right? So, um, so that's where I kind of keep my sweaters. And then this last section right here, these are some kind of more formal um, dresses, one of which is a beautiful um, haute couture um, ball gown. Um, I wore this um, at a really nice Christmas party one time as well as uh, a cruise. But these are my formal dresses that are, are extremely formal that I just don't want hanging out. Um, I almost never wear these so I keep them protected also in this canvas cover that is structured and um, that way they don't get dust um, because they're not being used so I keep that there so those um, that kind of wraps up like my dress and knit section I'm going to be showing you my shoes handbags and accessories next Okay, so now we are gonna take a look at my shoes, handbags, and accessories. So one of the most kind of exciting parts of designing this closet, um, and again, taking advantage of all the height that we have, um, was to build in you know, a shelving system that made sense. So earlier I mentioned that when we first moved into the apartment, um, we had kind of a starter set for the alpha, but we really kind of built out um, the shelving to meet our needs. And basically, if you just look up here, uh, I had one rod, literally one rod with a shelf on top that went right across. Uh, where you can see that part that's not been painted over. That's where that um, that rod used to be. And, you know, it's great if you have a lot of, you know, dresses and long pieces to, um, to hang, but it really didn't give me any functionality or storage to, to keep my shoes, again, my handbags, my jewelry, and so on. So, um, again, leveraging the Alpha system in Platinum and Walnut, we went to the store and pretty much had the dimensions of the side of the closet and designed it out. And uh, I'll show you what that looks like. So my favorite part of my closet are my shoe racks. I definitely like having this sliding feature um, to, you know, reach shoes that are in the back. Um, you know, if you don't have a lot of closet space, this definitely is something that you could implement. As you can see, I think this is just a few feet. Uh, I don't even think it's two feet, but it is so functional to keep your shoes. So I've got all my shoes here, my pumps, my sling backs. I've got kind of my um, my boots here, my ankle boots here, um, my core, more kind of designer shoes here, and then my sandals um, are here. And over here, I have my flats. So these also pull out as well. So my flat sandals, my ballet flats, the shoes that are falling to the side, um, slippers and other kind of strappy sandals, uh, I do have that as well. So that's kind of what my shoe section looks like. Um, we'll go up and then we'll go down. Yep, so up here is um, part of my handbag collection. Um, again, this closet is still very much a work in progress. Uh, as I 
kind of accumulate more things. I need to kind of rejig things a little bit, but um, but I definitely wanted to have space so that my uh, handbags, my most favorite handbags, can be stored upright. And also you'll notice that um, some of them have dust bags. Uh, for the most part, my favorite, favorite, most important handbags I do keep in dust bags. Uh, and um, then, you know, not every bag comes with a dust bag and that's fine, but these are just a few. Again, I have more handbags, but I'm just in the process of kind of reorganizing. Um, if you look at the shelf above that, you'll see hats. So I've got all sorts of hats. I have more hats that are in a hat box um, somewhere in my house too. Again, haven't unpacked all that. That's the least of my worries and that's why it's at the top. And then I have the, another couple of um, shelves up at the top that uh, are really just gonna be used for miscellaneous items. Because they're so high, they're just not really accessible without a tall ladder, which we do have. But I'm not putting anything up there that I'm gonna be using on the regular. So anything that um, that's gonna be used infrequently will just be stored up there. It's just good to have that extra storage space for sure. Um, so taking it down, just below my shoes, I have um, some storage built in for my costume jewelry. So I really love this and I am also moving into it. But um, but this is a nice system where you've got um, compartments that are kind of built in and you can just slide the top. And then you've got smaller compartments. So like your earrings or rings or um, anything like that can go in there. So I've got two sets again. Those are empty because I'm still kind of figuring how figuring out how I want to organize it. But those um, I'll be moving into as well. And then what I love about the Alpha system too is that not everything has to be shelves. I have some drawer systems in place here and also directly behind me. Um, this is where I pretty much keep all of my folded clothes and it works out beautifully. And I love it, especially because it's mesh. It's a metal mesh. So you can kind of see through to kind of have an idea yeah, okay, I'm looking for this, it's, it's there. So I don't have to go hunting too, too much. So basically like right over here is where a lot of my athleisure pieces are. These are pieces that I wear um, kind of around the house or if I have to run any quick errands. Um, cute, comfortable, um, nothing too contrived, that kind of goes here. This one is my winter accessories. So I've got my hats uh -huh. um, and my gloves in here and then down here is where i've got my um my scarves both um kind of functional for winter as well as um as uh, stylish scarves for different outfits i've got all my swimsuits over here i've got my unmentionables my lingerie here <laughs> and then this is a um a tray that i use to really kind of hold a lot of stuff that we um take when we travel um to have that so that's what that looks like Right behind me here, I've got a couple of these, but it's a nice little bench that I can, um, you know, if I can just get on to pull something off, I don't have to bring the big step stool into the closet. And then finally at the bottom, um, I am someone, again, this is my little bit of crazy, but certain shoe boxes, like really nice ones, I keep <laughs> because they make great storage for other miscellaneous items. So um, kind of like designer shoe bags and so on, I do not throw away. I do, I do like to keep them and repurpose them. Um, this is my Valentino box. I repurpose them for storage of other, um, of other items. So I think that could be a good tip too. I think the um, idea behind it is just not to get too crazy with it um, because you don't wanna have so many pieces that you can't really you know, remember where what you have or where you have it and these are not clear either um so you can't see through it to easily determine what you have but nonetheless i just can't part with a nice shoe box <laughs> so they live on forever in my closet um the only other thing that i want to a couple of things that i want to show you um, that are good for storage and i had it in my old closet in um in virginia where this LBD, this little black dress, and you can see it's empty right now, but what it's for is to store your jewelry pieces in. So I have a lot of costume jewelry, and I know for sure what I have is not going to fit in these two 
uh, pullouts. So I have one of the, I actually have two of these. I don't know where the other one is right now, but these have clear pockets that you can put your jewelry in, um, in any way you want to design it. And it's clear so you can see what you have at a glance. And then the other side has these little Velcro pieces here that just loop around. Um, you just Velcro it. So this is for hanging like bangles, hanging necklaces. Again, it's all visible. So um, another feature of this closet that I forgot to mention is the hook um, section on the side of the shelf where you can hang, you know, if you have, depending on the space you have, if you have any handbags or any things like this that you want to hang off, you totally can. I also have some on the other side as well. And this is another storage um, doohickey <laughs> where um, that I got at the container store again years and years ago. You can tell I'm a fan of the container store. I seriously, I go into the container store and I can be in there by myself for hours and be perfectly happy. I love like storage stuff and they just, I mean, they just have endless stuff to choose from and I love organizing so... There you go. This, that's my um, one of my little obsessions. But this also is the same idea with these Velcro loops. But these, for the most part, are for handbags. So for handbags that have top handles um, or have small handles, you can just kind of put it through there and hang it. Um, I don't really have a need for that in this closet. When these were in my walk-in closet, one of my walk-in closets in Virginia, um, I had I had a lot of handbags kind of hanging off of these um, because I had more space on a rod. But here I don't. So I probably am going to repurpose these to maybe hang belts, um, which I actually currently have stored up here. I have them rolled up. So, yeah, so there we have that. I talked about this a little bit before again. You know, you've got the drawer sliding system, really easy storage to put your uh, items that you want to have folded. Um, but up top here, again, kind of again, my crazy with storage bags, like I can't boxes, I can't nice boxes, I just can't get rid of. So these are boxes that I've had from like Louis Vuitton and so on. I repurpose these for storage as well. These have this particular style has a magnetic flap. Um, so it closes nicely. Um, so I'm not going to throw that away. I'm going to use it for storage. So I've got this set and I also have a couple boxes up here that I have more travel gear in as well. Again, I have these up top here because I don't access them every single day and it's neat and it looks pretty and that rounds out kind of, you know, the, the storage of the closet. So that's my, that's this section of the closet. I have one more section to, to show you and then we'll be all done. Okay, so welcome to the last section of my closet, which is basically kind of my outerwear. So my winter coats, my fall jackets, um, denim jackets, leather jackets, everything. All of that is right here. Um, this is the side of the closet I spend the least amount of time uh, because obviously a lot of it is kind of overcoat. So um, you know, especially in the summertime, you're not going to be in this every single day. Um, and this also is half of my husband's closet side. <laughs> so I'm totally invading his space too, but you know what? It is what it is. And I'm not going to lie. I have more coats downstairs in our foyer closet. It's that bad, but I love coats because there's such a great way to make a statement. Um, so I've got some of my kind of, um, fur coats here. This one is kind of a, uh, I think this is ostrich feather, really just kind of fun pieces. I got faux fur with this ombre look, um, just a lot of gun fun. I've got some edgy stuff here with my um, my moto jacket, with kind of the fuzzy arm. You know, I just have to be fabulous with the coats. But um, there's really nothing much to this part of the closet. I will say, I will mention that for the most part, a lot of my coats, and you might not be able to see, but um, they I have these actually hanging on on wooding hanger, some of them, because the coats are heavier. Um, the lighter coats I will have on my slim line, but the heavier ones, just because there's a little bit more structure, um, I don't want the, um, you know, the 
slimline hanger to kind of bend and then ruin the shape of the coat. So I do have um, stronger wooden hangers for the most part for the heavier coats. And then just kind of storage above that. And that's, that's the section of the closet. Okay, so that wraps up the tour of my closet. I hope you enjoyed getting a glimpse again behind the scenes of what my everyday closet looks like. And if you have any questions about any of the organization tips that I shared or anything else, be sure to drop them in the comment section. And speaking of which, definitely like, share, and subscribe. Um, sharing is caring, and um, that would be so helpful to me and my YouTube channel. And then, also, I want to invite you to participate in my free eight day cleanse your closet challenge. Okay, so we just went through my closet, which for the most part was pretty organized. I want that for you too. If your closet is not organized, if you have a closet full of clothes, but you cannot find anything to wear because you've got things nipped and tucked, have no idea where it is, you need to organize your closet. My eight day challenge not only takes you through each major section of your wardrobe um, to help you separate and organize. But it also, more importantly, gives you very, very specific tips on what kind of factors you need to take into account before deciding if you want to keep that piece, donate it, or trash it. Uh, and this is more specific to fit. Fit is everything when it comes to your wardrobe, so that's why I built that into the challenge. So I will have a link um, in the comments section that gives you the sign up. It is free to participate. You will get daily emails from me with um, PDF worksheets to help walk you through exactly how to work through your wardrobe so that when you're done, you'll have a wardrobe that looks like mine. Heck, maybe even better than mine. So make sure you check that out. Well, I hope you enjoyed visiting me with me in my closet. And again, if you have any questions, drop them below. I'll see you next time. Bye.